Does trading on the one minute or the five minute chart make you more profitable? So in this video, I want to discuss is trading on the lower time frames better for you? Is it more profitable? Can you actually make more money and pass a challenge more quickly than let's say swing traders who are trading on the one hour, four hour or maybe even the daily chart? When looking at social media, so on uh, Instagram, YouTube, X, you're gonna see a lot of traders trading on the lower time frames and actually scalping the markets. It's most likely gonna be the one minute or the five minute chart. Now, I first wanna answer uh, what is the reason why most influencers trade on the one minute or the five minute chart? Why are most of them scalpers? And the reason is that they are not actually real traders. So influencers, most of them, like 95% of the influencers that you see online, make all of their money strictly from let's say selling you a course or commissions from the broker and how is that done well all of the influencers usually have a link to a certain broker that they use and that they recommend and then they get a cut from the profits that the broker makes so basically when you sign up on that broker each time you place a trade there is of course the spread and you have to pay the commission okay so the broker earns money through the spread and the broker earns money through commissions on every single trade that you place and then broker makes money on your trading gives a portion of that money to the actual influencer so there is a big incentive for you to place as many trades as possible and how is that done well it's done on the lower time frames of course the scalpers place a lot more trades in a week than let's say swing traders so the more trades you place the more commissions you will pay on every single trade and the more profits will the broker make and the more profits will the influencer make as well also when you're trading on the lower time frames you usually have a take profit or of just a couple of pips right maybe five or six pips and a stop loss of maybe three to four pips this again makes you use a big lot size okay so because the smaller your stop loss is in pips the bigger your lot size will need to be to risk, let's say, 1% of your capital on every single trade. And also the bigger lot size that you use, so the, the more lots you trade, again, you pay more commission to the broker and the influencer gets a cut of the profits. And that is why online most of the influencers are trading on the lower time frames. Again, they want you to trade as many lots as possible, take as many trades as possible, and for the broker to make as much commission as possible so now that we got that out of the way we're going to compare uh, scalping and we're going to compare swing trading which is better for your actual personal account and which makes you pass a profit challenge faster let's talk about the advantages of scalping first when i say scalping i mean trading on the very very low time frames such as the one minute and the five minute chart so first advantage that I would say actually does exist is scalping does produce more consistent results week to week and month to month. I remember a couple of years ago, I did an internship at a real prop firm, so not FTMO, but a real prop firm like SMB Capital. Uh, and I was on their actual trade floor. I saw the traders trading. Most of them were trading on, I would say these lower timeframes and looking at the one minute and the five minute chart so yes there are some real traders that are actual scal scalpers and that are trading on these lower time frames and guess what they're making a lot of profits and they're trading day to day so most days they actually finish in green okay so most days they actually make a profit and at the end of the week there is a very high chance that they will be in the green and most months they actually do end up positive whereas with swing trading which i am i am a swing trader I do not look at my results on a daily basis, weekly basis, or even a monthly basis. I prefer to look at my personal res results on a quarterly basis and on a yearly basis, okay? Because I do not take as much trades and viewing a big sample size gives me a much better representation of my results than looking at my results on, let's say, one week. So did I make money in one week? It doesn't really matter if I made money in one week or maybe even one month, I can have some negative months as well. What matters to me, did I make money on a quarterly basis and am I profitable on a yearly basis? So scalpers look at their results, I would say, on a daily and weekly basis, while swing traders prefer to look at their results on, let's say, quarterly or yearly. But yes, I have to say, if you're a scalper and if you're profitable, you're gonna have more consistent results every single month. You're gonna have 
probably most of your weeks will be in the green. Most months will be in the green as well. While with swing traders, I would say having a negative month is gonna be completely normal. You're gonna have some negative months. It's part of the game. You're not taking as much trades. You're relying on the big time frames and on the big, big trends to play out. And sometimes you will consecutively get stopped out as you are trying to get in on those big, big trends. Yes, it all does depend on your win rate. So as a swing trader, you can have a higher win rate, but from my personal experience, from what I have seen happen on an actual trade floor from an actual prop firm, and when I compare that to my personal results and the results of the traders that I'm working with, you can have more consistent results with scalping, you can be profitable, maybe not every week, but most weeks you can be in the green if you know what you're doing. There is another advantage to scalping, and I would say that is satisfying your hunger of being in the markets every single day. A very, very hard part of trading is actually being patient and waiting for those A plus setups. Me as a swing trader, I do have some weeks where I take zero trades, okay? Or maybe I take one trade per month. It happens, it's all a part of the game. So patience is extremely important for me, okay? Because if I start over, tra over trading, if I start taking shitty setups, I'm gonna end up with some big, big losses. And when I'm monitoring the markets every single week, every single day, doing my forecast, and then seeing that there are no setups forming, yes, it is tough on my psychology. And I do wanna take some, let's say more average, trades. I want to be in the markets. It is very hard monitoring the markets every single week and not take any trades. And that is where I would say scalping is a bit better because most days you're going to be taking trades. I think scalpers take maybe three to five trades per day, depending of course on the instruments that you trade, depending on the market conditions as well. But most days you will actually be taking trades. So those were some of the advantages. Let's now list some of the disadvantages. And the first one I would say is you do not have a freedom of time. So freedom of time for you is gone. If you're a scalper, you're going to be at the charts, I would say at least eight hours per day on the market open, let's say on the London open, watching the New York open as well, all the way through to the Asia session. And you're going to need to have your eyes glued to the screens, right? Because you're trading the one minute chart, you're trading the five minute chart. At least every five minutes or every 15 minutes, you're gonna be at the charts. You're gonna have your alerts set as well. And it's gonna be very, very time consuming. And it will be very similar to being at a full-time job. So when I had that internship at that prop firm, those traders were there from 7 a.m. all the way to 6 p.m., maybe sometimes even 7 p.m. every single working day. They needed to be present. They were at the charts. They had their alarm set. They were monitoring those lower time frames and they did not have a lot of freedom of time. But hey, that's part of the game. Everything has its advantages and disadvantages. For them, that approach worked better. And for them, they made the most profits trading those lower time frames and actually being at the charts the whole day. But swing traders, well, they have a lot more freedom of time. For example, I trade solely on the one hour chart. What does that mean? Well, I just need to check the charts on top of every hour, okay? So I have my uh, alarm on my watch. Every single hour, my alarm goes off. I open my phone, check the charts. Are there any setups? If there's a setup, I take it. If there are no setups, close the phone and go on with my day. So throughout the day, as long as I did my forecast in the morning, I can be doing whatever I want and just monitoring the charts either on my laptop or on my phone. It is very, very simple. So I can be at the gym, I can be going to lunch, I can be going to the store to pick up some groceries. So you're not glued to the screens and you have a lot more freedom of time. For me personally, I like that approach a lot more than actually being uh, glued to the screen for the whole day. Second disadvantage to scalping is I would say it has a lot more stress than swing trading. So you are taking a lot more trades and psychology is gonna have a much, much bigger impact on scalpers. So just imagine how you feel when you have a losing trade, imagine how you feel when you miss a trade and now multiply that by let's say 10 or 15, okay? Because you're gonna be taking three to five trades on most working days. Every single trade will have a big psychological impact, especially if you are trading on a big account. And that is another thing to think about. So maybe for now you're trading on 1000 euro account or you have 
a 10,000 euro account or you're trading just a couple of prop firm accounts. But what if you scale it to a big number such as let's say 200,000 euros in your personal account or maybe 1 million or 2 million in prop firm funding, will you be able to execute your trades efficiently? Because let's say you have 1 million in funding capital and you're a scalper and let's say you risk 0.5% per trade. That means every time you lose, you're gonna lose $5,000. And imagine that you have five trades in a day and all of them are a loss. That means on that day you lost $25,000. Now, can your psychology deal with that? Because it's gonna happen. It is the, the reality of trading. So for now, scalping may seem like a good option because you're trading a small account and when you lose, you lose small. When you win, you also win small. But once you scale that money to a big amount, well then those huge losses and those huge winners are going to have a big big impact on your psychology and you will not be able to perform well and that is why i again prefer swing trading we're taking a lot less trades the psychological impact is a lot less as well and we can scale up our capital more efficiently again there will be a huge psychological impact don't get me wrong there is a big psychological impact with any sort of a trading style but with swing trading you're taking less trades so that psychological impact is not, is not gonna be as big as with scalping when you're trading, let's say $1 million in funding capital or let's say 200,000 euros in your personal account. Third disadvantage is you're gonna be paying more fees and you're gonna be paying more commission. Now this kind of glues together with the story that I was telling at the beginning. So the influencers want you to trade as much as possible. They want you to trade as many lots as possible so they can get that fat commission check. So again, when you're scalping, your stop loss is pretty small, maybe four to five pips, something like that. That means you need to risk much a much bigger lot size than let's say if you're swing trading. As a swing trader, you maybe have a 12 or a 15 pip stop loss. So your lot size is gonna be smaller. And with bigger lot size, also with trading on the lower time frames comes more commission and worse spreads. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna have a bigger lot size, you're gonna be paying more commission on every single trade that you take. And on the one minute chart and the five minute chart, the spread is much, much worse. You could, e you could even be paying one pip extra for every single trade, okay? Depending on your broker, especially depending on the prop firms, the prop firms have really, really bad spreads. So it is not uncommon if you, let's say, risk four pips on a trade that, that you actually get stopped out for five pips. And that's a huge increase, right? Because if you're swing trading on the one hour chart, the spread is gonna be maybe like one pip, okay? And if you have a 15 or a 20 pip stop loss, it's not gonna have as much of an impact then let's say on the one minute chart where the spread is also one pip but your stop loss is much much smaller so you have to think about it your edge your actual trading edge goes down drastically if you're trading on the lower time frames and if you're a scalper you're paying more commission per trade and the spreads eat up into your profits the fourth disadvantage to scalping is that there is a lot of noise so open up your trading view open up the one hour chart of let's say i don't know gold or the euro and us dollar check out how the price is moving. Then click on the one hour, click on the four hour, click on the daily, you're gonna see a trend, right? On the one minute, you're gonna see chop, but on the bigger time frames, you're gonna see some nice trends. So there is a lot of noise on the lower time frames, while on the higher time frames, the macroeconomic events tend to push the price in one direction, right? So those big, big trends happen on the higher time frames. And on the lower time frames, you have a lot of noise, a lot of chop. Yes, in the end, the lower time frames do follow the higher time frame bias. So let's say if the one hour chart is in a huge uptrend, yes, the one minute chart will overall be in an uptrend as well. But again, there's gonna be a lot of erratic price action, a lot of noise, a lot of chop, and that makes your trading edge smaller as well. And that is not good because as traders, we already have a small trading edge, right? Our trading edge is not that big. And then you put in higher commission into that equation. You also put in spreads into that equation and you put in noise chop 
and erratic price action that goes on on the one minute and the five minute chart that is a recipe for disaster so that kind of sums up all of the advantages and the disadvantages i personally prefer swing trading a lot more and if you look online the people that i actually trust the traders that i actually believe are profitable they all swing trade i have maybe seen one or two traders that trade on the lower time frames uh, an example would be James Rich Young, I believe that is the name. So he trades stocks and he trades intraday. He takes, uh, I would say, three to five trades per day. And yes, he actually does make money. But most of the other real profitable traders, they are all swing traders. An example would be Trader Nick. It would be Sam KB. It would be Bernd as well. So if you're just starting out, my advice is to first try swing trading, okay? You have a much, much higher chance of success and your trading edge is going to be much, much higher as a swing trader. Now, a lot of people believe that scalping is going to be much better for prop firms. They believe that they will pass phase one, phase two, and get to the funded stage as fast as possible with scalping. But I would say that is not true. Yes, there used to be a time limit. There used to be like a 30 day time limit on phase one and a 60 day time limit on phase two. In that scenario, I would say scalpers did have an advantage because again, they're producing a bit more consistent results, but now the time limit is gone. So there is no rush. So why not take it slow and use swing trading to actually pass those challenges again i do not see a lot of scalpers actually making money from prop firms and making money on their personal account but i do see some swing traders that have a lot of success with prop firms and that end up extracting a lot of money from the funded accounts as well so don't think that scalping is better for prop firms because it's not that is a complete lie especially now that the time limit is gone you can take your time you can take it slow and you can let your edge play out with swing trading. To sum up, scalping is extremely hard. It's very stressful. Only the best of the best of the best of traders are scalpers and they can actually make money on those lower time frames. As a beginner, do you really want to go against those traders? Because trading is a zero sum game. For you to make money, someone needs to lose money. So for me personally, I would rather battle it out on the one hour chart, let those big trends play out and make my money that way. Also, if you think that the profitable scalpers are using ICT concepts to make money, they are definitely not. Okay, they have very, very different trading edges than what you and me use. I would say because there is so much noise on the one minute and the five minute chart, uh, employing a simple IC CT entry on those lower time frames is just not going to work in the long term okay you need a much much better trading edge to to make money on those lower time frames but on the one hour chart price is more clean the trends are more sustained and the actual macroeconomic events play a part on the one hour chart you can see those trends forming on the higher time frames so it's much much easier to take advantage of those trends and that will be it for this video guys if you want to learn how to become a swing trader on the one hour chart have the freedom of time have less stress in your trading well then go to zentumtrading.com and there you will learn everything you need to know to go from zero to consistently profitable get funded with prop firms get some payouts, build your personal account as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.